Hello little ones, welcome back to my channel. Tonight we are going to read together Walt Disney's Winnie the Pooh and the Windy Day. One windy day, Winnie the Pooh was sitting in his thinking place. He watched the leaves blowing in the wind. A gopher popped up from a hole in front of Pooh. Did you know that today it's Wind's Day? asked the gopher. Then I must go and wish my friends a happy Wind's Day, said Pooh. So off he went. Pooh went to Piglet's house. Happy Wind's Day, Piglet, said Pooh. Hello, Pooh, squeaked Piglet. Piglet was trying to sweep his yard, but the wind blew the leaves everywhere. Suddenly, Piglet began to blow away too. Pooh grabbed Piglet's sweater, but the sweater began to unravel. Soon, Pooh was holding on to only a thread. Piglet flew up, up, up in the air. He pulled Pooh behind him on the ground. Along came Kanga and her baby, Roo. Look, Mama, said Roo. Piglet, it's a kite. Oh, Kanga waved to Piglet, and Piglet waved back. Pooh was pulled along faster and faster. Eeyore the donkey was standing outside his new stick house. Eeyore had just finished building it. There, nothing will knock this down, Eeyore said proudly. Crash! The wind blew Pooh into the stick house. Well... Nothing but poo, said Eeyore. Rabbit was picking carrots in his garden. My back hurts, Rabbit said. I wish someone would help me. Just then, the wind dragged Poo through the carrot patch. Poo's feet dug up the carrots, and the carrots flew right into the wheelbarrow. Happy Wednesday, called Poo. Pooh and Piglet sailed on to Owl's house. Sad Inside, Owl was trying to read, but a strong wind shook the tree. Owl's tree house shook too. Suddenly, Owl heard a thump on the window. He turned around. What a surprise! Hmm, said Owl. I didn't know that Piglet could fly. Then Pooh appeared at the window, too. Owl opened the window. A gust of wind blew Pooh and Piglet in. Happy Wednesday, Owl, said Pooh. Pooh and Piglet flew across the room. They landed in two chairs. How nice of you to drop in, said Owl. Owl sat down with his friends. The house swayed back and forth in the wind. A pot on the table slid over to Pooh. Is there honey in this pot? asked Pooh. Yes, there is, said Owl. I love honey, said Pooh. Help yourself, Owl said. The house swayed more. The pot of honey slid right into Pooh's arms. Pooh lifted the lid. But suddenly the house tilted sharply. The honeypot slid away from Pooh. Come back, Pooh said. The wind blew harder and harder. Owl's tree leaned over and crashed to the ground. Owl's house fell to pieces. The honeypot landed on Pooh's head. Piglet landed on top of the honeypot. Piglet, are you hurt? asked Owl. No, said Piglet. And are you all right, Pooh? asked Owl. Yum, I mean yes, said Pooh. But my house is not all right, said Owl. I'm sorry, Owl, Pooh said. Along came Eeyore. Did Pooh crash into Owl's house too? asked Eeyore. It was the wind, said Pooh. Don't worry, Owl, 
said Eeyore. I will find you a new place to live. And he slowly shuffled away. The wind was still blowing very hard. Then it began to rain. Let's go home, said Pooh. I have had enough of wind's day. So have I, said Piglet. The river flowed. The water came closer and closer to Piglet's door. In the middle of the night, Piglet woke up. Piglet sat up in bed. His bedroom was flooded. His chairs and dresser were floating on top of the water. Even his bed bobbed up and down. Oh, oh, said Piglet, what shall I do? Soon he had an idea. Piglet climbed on a chair and floated out the window. Water was everywhere. Piglet found a stick to use as an oar. He steered his chair through the water. Hello! Hello! called Piglet. But there was no one around. The rain fell harder and harder. The wind blew this way and that. And Piglet was almost blown overboard. Pooh's house was flooded too. I must save my honey, said Pooh. So he put his pots out on a branch. Oh, this is hard work, Pooh said. It's time for a little honey. Pooh began to lick the honey. Then he put his head into the pot to lick some more. His head got stuck and he fell off the branch. Help! Pooh called. Pooh fell into the river head first. With his head in the pot, he floated by Piglet. Pooh! Oh, Pooh! Piglet called happily. I'm in here, said Pooh. He sounded very sad. Piglet pulled Pooh to safety. But all of a sudden, look out, called Pooh. Help! squeaked Piglet. The two of them went over a waterfall. The rain was stopping. Christopher Robin went down to the river bank to find his friends. There was Owl riding on a log. Rabbit, Tiger, Kanga and Roo were safe in a tub. But where are Pooh and Piglet? Christopher Robin asked. No one knew. Then Pooh came floating downstream. Hooray! Everyone cheered. Pooh waved to his friends. Piglet waved from the honey pot. Christopher Robin waded into the water and rescued Pooh and Piglet. Pooh put me in the honey pot to keep me safe, said Piglet. Pooh, you are a hero, Christopher Robin said. Pooh saved Piglet, Christopher Robin said. He, we will have a hero party for him. Just then Eeyore walked slowly up to the group. Good news, said Eeyore. I have found an empty house. Owl can live there. That's wonderful, said Christopher Robin. Where is it, Eeyore? Follow me, said Eeyore. He slowly shuffled away. Eeyore led everyone up to a door. I've seen that door before, said Pooh. Pooh, that's my house, whispered Piglet. It's Piglet's house, said Rabbit. So if Owl moves in, said Kanga, where will Piglet live, asked Roo. Piglet, can live with me, said Pooh. I'd like that, said Piglet. Pooh gave Piglet a big bear hug. Piglet gave his house to a friend without a home, said Christopher Robin. That makes Piglet a hero too. We will have a two-hero party. 
The wind and rain had stopped. Christopher Robin and his friends set up a table on a dry hill, and they all had a wonderful party. The end. Good night and sweet dreams.